Yo, what's going on YouTube individuals and DBZ enthusiasts out there? This is your boy RBG, aka The Random Black Gamer, hitting you guys up with another DBZ video. So after months and months of speculating who's going to be resurrected, we finally have solid concrete evidence on who this character is. Information revealed that it will be none other than Frieza. This news surfaced earlier this morning from the latest issue of V-Jump magazine with an advertisement poster. The title of this movie is going to be called Dragon Ball Z Fukatsu no F. The word Fukaku translates to resurrection while the letter F is an abbreviation for Frieza, which translates the title as Resurrection of Frieza or Frieza's Resurrection. Now I know this may come as a bit of a surprise, especially if some of you are familiar with the way things work in the DBZ universe, but the gist of this film is going to revolve around a bad wish, further indicating that it will show how Frieza is resurrected. But rules and stipulations state that in order for one to be brought back with the Dragon Balls, it has to be less than a year since their passing. So how would this play out? I have a feeling that Akira Toriyama will write out a good explanation. When news of Frieza's resurrection hit earlier this year, Toriyama stated that this is something that he had intended to write in the Dragon Ball manga, so he's probably taken a great deal of time to give us an awesome story. Judging from the theatrical poster, this will be a direct follow-up to 2013's Battle of Gods. It features Goku, Vegeta, the God of Destruction Beerus, Whis, Frieza, Piccolo, Krillin, and two newly introduced characters Parfait and Tagoma. The two new villains are designed by Toriyama himself and play a role in resurrecting Frieza. The article states that remnants of Frieza's army, Sarbate and Tagoma, arrive on Earth. Their goal is to revive Frieza with the Dragon Balls. Their dastardly wish is granted and plans to take revenge against the Saiyans is revived. So based off the plot, it seems that Frieza still has colleagues in low places. Although it's been 12 years since his passing, they're still plotting to avenge his death. As you can see, Parfait being the short and intellectual type to your left, and Tagoma, being the tall and limber built warrior to your right, look like they're going to be poised to complete their objective and they look like they'll be some heavy hitters. I would also like to point out Toriyama's design on the newly stylized Saiyan armor and scouters. The equipment looks different from the other Saiyan armor iterations, from the shoulder armor to the scouters. As you can see, Tagoma seems to be sporting a scouter with dual earphones and a full visor covering both eyes. There is no intel on what features this new scouter includes, but you can rest assured that I'll be on the lookout for any information. Since we're on the topic of attire, I would like you to take a closer look at Goku and Vegeta's outfits from the theatrical poster. Although we don't have a full body view of the Saiyan duo, we can somewhat see that they're not wearing their usual get-ups. Based on past instances in the Dragon Ball Z film universe, I thought this film would follow a similar style and have the Z Warriors supporting their classic outfits to give off a sort of anniversary salute to longtime fans. You've seen this done in Yo Son Goku and his friends return and in Battle of Gods, but Goku isn't wearing his Kyo brand gi and Vegeta isn't even sporting the standard model Saiyan armor. If you look closely at Goku, he's wearing a red gi without his usual blue undershirt. This isn't anything new since we've seen him sport this look in the Dragon Ball series and in the Saiyan saga in his battle with Raditz. So there's not much of a drastical change, but the most noticeable thing that I would like to point out is the unfamiliar symbol on his chest. Just what exactly does it mean? Could this be a symbol that belongs to a martial arts master who Goku is trained under, such as Beerus or Whis? Because we've seen him take on the Hermit Stamp after being trained under Master Roshi and the King Kai symbol after learning the Spirit Bomb. I'm not exactly sure what this symbol means. I have an idea and I know I'm stretching it a bit far, but I think this symbol could be a friendly salute to another shonen colleague that just ended. And I think you guys know where I'm going with this. For any of you out of the know, the popular shonen series Naruto ended its 17 year run with 700 manga chapters. This made a lot of noise in the manga community. There were fellow mangakas or authors such as One Piece's creator Ichiro Oda and Bleach's creator Taite Kubo who featured easter egg salutes to Naruto. And that's exactly what I think Toriyama's doing. If you take a close look, the symbol on Goku's gi looks very similar to the hidden leaf symbol Naruto bears on his headband. But like I said earlier, I could be stretching it a bit. If there's anyone who knows anything about this symbol, let me know in the comment section below. But moving on, I would like you to take a look at Vegeta's armor. Judging from his left shoulder all the way up to his neck, he appears to be wearing not only new armor, but new under armor as well. This armor looks similar to the one he wore during the Android and Cell saga, but it looks closely modeled after the armor he wore during the Frieza saga. Instead of wearing the gold plated bracelets over his traps, he's sporting a one piece armor with golden straps indented into the armor. I'm not a fashion enthusiast, but I am an artist, and like myself, I think other artists who are all about costume designs will be pleased. As for his under armor, it looks more solid than his standard one. Unlike the older armor, the texture doesn't look like tights, but a thicker reinforced material. The next thing we're going to be analyzing is the unfamiliar character under Piccolo. 
There have been many speculations that this may be Yamcha or Gohan. I'm going to go ahead and say that it's definitely not Yamcha, considering the fact that Yamcha bears scars over his right eye and left cheek. From a visual perspective, you can see that the character obviously doesn't. The next prediction is that the character could be Gohan sporting a new tracksuit along with a new hairstyle, but that's just my guess. Another hypothesis I have is that he could possibly be a time skip version of Goten or be a teenage version of Goten. I don't know about anyone else, but I find it rather strange that even though Battle of Gods had taken place 5 years after the Buu Saga, Goten and Trunks physically remained the same. This could have just been because they were only 12 and 13. And maybe Toriyama didn't feel the need to give them a new design like he did with Krillin, Videl, Yamcha, and Tien. But this time around it would be a smart move if we get a time skip ahead of Battle of Gods. Considering the fact that Lord Whis knocked Beerus out and mentioned the fact that he may be asleep for another 3 years would make Goten and Trunks 15 and 16. I'm also eager to see what Freezer's reaction would be like if he crosses paths with the present time Trunks, considering that future Trunks was roughly around the age of 16 when he faced off against Frieza in his mecha form. Other interactions I'm interested in seeing is between Beerus and Frieza. Considering it's been 39 years since they've spoken, I'm pretty sure Lord Beerus is going to have some choice words for the Arcosian Cold Prince. Frieza better have some pudding on deck if he hopes to win this battle. Be on the lookout for Dragon Ball Z Frieza's Resurrection. It's slated for theatrical release on April 18, 2015 in 2D and 3D and will be exclusive in Japan for now. Funimation will most likely acquire the rights in years to come and maybe in 2017 we'll be hearing Linda Young reprise her role as Frieza or we'll probably hear Dragon Ball Kai's Chris Iris. Either way, I'm satisfied. But that's all I have for you today, folks. What do you think of Frieza's resurrection? Do you think he'll fulfill his dream of destroying the Saiyans? And how do you think Lord Whis and Lord Beerus' role will play out? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below, and if you're interested in DVZ videos similar to this one, I only ask that you like, favorite, and share the video with your friends, and subscribe for more. But like always, this is your boy RBG signing out on another video. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.